right, let's talk for a moment about File Explorer. Now, not a whole lot has changed with File Explorer between Windows 7 or Windows 8 and Windows 10, but we just want to take a brief look at it. First of all, if you do have it available in your Start menu here, you have access to the Jump List. So this is going to show recent folders that you've accessed, and then also popular or pinned folders. So as you launch File Explorer, things should look pretty familiar. You do have recent files here and then folders that you do visit frequently. If you're using a Microsoft account, you will also see a OneDrive folder here. One thing that is very different in Windows 10 compared to Windows 8 is the OneDrive integration. A lot of people are actually upset with Microsoft over the way that they're handling this. In the past, whether you had the file available on your device or not, you would be able to see it or you'd be able to see a placeholder in the file explorer when you go to OneDrive. Now you're only able to see the files that are available not only in the cloud but also on your device. So these are folders that I've choosed to have sync to my device. Now you can customize that. so. Initially, Windows should ask you to choose which files and folders you want to have synced, but if you need to change that at some point in the future, you can click on the taskbar in this notifications area and then go to OneDrive, right click on that, and then go to settings. From here, you can choose which folders are syncing to your device. Just a note here that when you choose to have a folder sync to your device, all of the documents and files that are within that folder are going to be downloaded onto your device. So if you're saving things like music or pictures or videos to the cloud, just note that you might be syncing or downloading a very large folder. That could of course have a very great impact on the amount of storage that's available on your device. So be careful with the folders that you have syncing here. Also of note for users that are coming from Windows 8 and 8.1, you can no longer download the modern OneDrive application, which was used to explore files that were in the cloud and that were stored locally. So that application is no longer being developed and it's no longer supported or available in Windows 10. Now there's one addition to the File Explorer that I think is really noteworthy, and that's its integration with the new Photos app. So just to show you what that looks like, if I choose to upload something to OneDrive, I could browse through my PC and go to the Pictures folder in order to find the picture that I want to upload. However, new to Windows 10 is the integration with this Photos application. So from this application, all of your photos, those online on your OneDrive, and then those also on your device are also synced right into this application. So that might make it a lot easier for you to find the photo that you want if you are browsing through your file explorer. Now, if you were to just go ahead and open a window of the file explorer, you're not going to see that photos area, but of course you could just go to the photos app if you want to launch that experience. That's it for File Explorer. Thanks for watching.